Since Russia's invasion of Ukraine in February 2022, the use of drones for reconnaissance and tactical missions has evolved so rapidly it's come to characterise the war. The tactic of dropping hand grenades from commercial drones has evolved into the use of larger drones and larger munitions, as well as the use of first-person view or FPV one-way kamikaze drones. Joe MacDonald, a British volunteer currently fighting in Ukraine, has kindly shared a short video showing some of the components of some of the newest munitions that have been in use with his drone team for some time. Joe has led the development of a series of munitions of varying sizes. These range from small 450 gram bombs all the way up to 3.5 kilograms. These are dropped from a range of drones running from small Mavic type commercial drones all the way up to the Baba Yaga heavy bomber drones. Hello. Uh, at Tab, the Armourer's Bench, I'm Joe McDonald and this is Big Mac's Battle Blog. I just thought I'd show you some of the 3D printed casings that I've had designed and we're using these days. This little one here is basically a uh, VOG size. They normally come out to about 450 grams thereabouts. And what I did to make it unique was... Uh, basically had this oh that's uh kind of difficult to do with one finger but had this um spacer so it's got a shrapnel sleeve basically and each of these little dots you can see uh have have a um, a, bra a bracket there so that stops the shrapnel from moving around too much then we have this the v1 which is um takes about 900 grams of plastic and however much shrapnel you want to uh, stick into the shrapnel sleeve there. Then we have the V2. This is normally uh, comes out to about 1.5, 1.7 kilograms with plastic and shrapnel. And that's dropped from a 10 inch FPV. And this, the big boy, uh, as you can see, I've even had them branded, the Big Mac XL is for dropping from the Baba Yaga and that will normally weigh in to be around a three and a half kilogram bomb. Anyway, that's all from me for now. Have a good day. This short video from Joe just goes to illustrate the importance of 3D printing in the development and manufacture of drone drop munitions. The 3D printed cases are loaded with explosives and shrapnel, which can then be fused ready for deployment in the field. The 3D printed designs have only grown more sophisticated, evolving originally from printed tail sections and nose cones. Importantly, the use of 3D printing allows the casing and tails to be standardised and consistent. Here's a clip from one of Joe's own earlier videos where he explains the importance of refining the design of the actual casing itself. And you may have seen things like this. Now, this is actually a version that I asked to be altered slightly quite a while ago now. And uh, the way I had it altered was, so there's a little thing that keeps in, there's, a, there's spacers in between the shrapnel sleeve. And this means that you can basically, once you've put your, your bits of shrapnel in, you can pack these sections down with a little bit of paper. And this stops the shrapnel moving around as the bomb is suspended under the drone which means it falls more accurately and uh, i'm sure you've all seen videos of things of about this size is that this is exact in, this internal space is exactly the right size for one of the vog 17 uh, grenades from the uh, russian ussr automatic grenade launcher the 3.5 kilogram v3 that joe mentions takes about 24 hours to print. They could be printed faster, Joe explained, but this sacrifices rigidity and robustness, and he prefers the munitions his unit uses to be soldier-proof and capable of standing up to handling. Joe also noted that the packing of the cases with plastic explosive takes some force, which the cases have to be able to stand up to. While there are plenty of other case and tail designs in use, the designs Joe led the refinement and development of have been used by a number of Ukrainian brigades. Special thanks to Joe for sharing the video and taking the time to explain to me how drone munitions are assembled. 
I highly recommend checking out Joe's channel, Big Mac's Battle Blog. He regularly shares some really interesting insights. There's links to Joe's channel in the description box and in the card in the top right hand corner. So definitely go and check him out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Please do consider supporting the channel, but just sharing the videos is very much appreciated. Thanks again. Catch you next time.